You guys loved that video on the TDH8 that we did last week. Uh, over 15,000 views in just a week. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, I, I looked at the stats on Amazon. I over 50 of these were sold. You guys, you guys sold them out. They're back ordered now. One thing I didn't check because I, I honestly don't care, but a lot of people have commented. Uh, was the power rating uh, as as Tid Radio themselves advertise? This is rated as a 10 watt high power radio with two power tubes. Power tubes inside to give it high power. Now, in all honesty, the difference between whether this puts out five watts or ten watts, it's not gonna double your range. It's not gonna it's not really gonna do much. But that is one thing that I didn't test, so I figured let's throw this on the meter today and see does this actually put out 10 watts or 8 watts or 11 watts? Does it do it on UHF and VHF? Uh, you know, ham, GMRS, what does it do? So let's uh, hook this up to the meter and find out today on KMRD Radio Stuff. So we can remove the antenna here. I've got one of these little SMA adapters, little screw in here. And then I'm using uh, some very low loss coaxial cable. This is the uh, Hyperflex 10 Sahara from Messi and Poloni. So should pretty much mitigate any kind of losses we might get with uh, some less than stellar coax. So let's flip that to VHF and we're gonna go to VFO and let's check 144 megahertz and we'll put this on low power this should be tri power we have low uh, medium and high so we'll put it on low for now save that so 144 megahertz and we get about two and a half watts output so that's not terrible that's what i would expect now would we get say maybe five watts whoops on medium power i don't know let's find out so here's medium power we get five watts i'll be darned all right let's go up to high power and key up and we're getting nine watts, so not that advertised ten. Why are we we're running in split for some reason? But that's okay. All right, we'll turn split off. It's about nine point three watts. Now let's go. Sometimes they change a little bit when you go up in frequency. So let's check. Uh, low power at 146 megahertz about two and a half here's mid power a little bit lower now 4.3 watts it was 5 watts at 144 and now high power eh. over 10 10.7 watts so there we are. It, it's doing as advertised. Again, it is not uncommon to see radios fluctuate a little bit. Let's try 147,500. There's 10. So looks towards the upper band and then 144. So towards the higher end, we do get that 10 watts advertised. Now, what are we doing on, uh, let's just go to 440. And we'll go to low power, see what that does on UHF. Three watts on low power UHF, okay. Here's mid, 6.7 watts. Usually UHF uh, is lower. You don't, you don't get quite as much power. Let's see, high power, 446. Oops. 12 watts, wow, okay. All right, <laughs> let's try 446 and let's see, we'll just go uh, low power again. 
Three and a half watts, that's about the same. Here's medium power, seven watts. And high power, 446. 9.5 still pretty darn impressive given that like every other high power radio that I've reviewed uh, is is always much much lower on UHF than it is VHF now let's try um, let's try the GMRS frequencies here 462 uh, and let's see let's go to low power on GMRS whoops There's three watts. Should should be two on some of these frequencies, but I won't tell. Here's medium power GMRS, six watts. And high power GMRS frequency, 11 watts. Look at that. Wow. I am shocked. Uh, <laughs> this... <laughs> Somebody's going back to me. <laughs> uh, this radio, I, I don't know about the whole two power tubes thing. I don't think there's tubes in here, but this second gen TID Radio TDH8 so far has delivered everything that it is advertised. Uh, this is a first for like any Chinese radio manufacturer. I love that it's Bluetooth programmable. They got that Bluetooth dongle, too, that you can use for, like, uh, other other radios. I believe it does still work with this because it's got that kind of Bofang Kenwood style thing. So, anyway, just a quick one here. Wanted to show the power output of this. I have not done this. This is all you guys are seeing this live with me. Uh, wow. TID Radio has absolutely nailed it out of the park with this radio. So, uh, they are back ordered until like August. I will leave affiliate links in the description if you want to stand by and wait to pick one up. I think this radio is well worth it. 2,500 milliamp hour battery. And you get two of them. USB charging, Bluetooth programmable, ham radio, GMRS, all in one radio. We'll see you again on another episode of KMRD Radio Stuff. 73, guys.